I will try to explain you before to use some words to understand, uh, to make you understand our work here. Uh, the first uh, is to say that we belong, and we say to the belong to a genealogy, an history that an, is an Italian history, but of course in, is an history of uh, Mediterranean. And uh, you know, to, to belong to, ge to a genealogy is difficult because you have to be to the level of, the, of this history, of this uh, genealogy. And uh, this genealogy for us is made, uh, you, so, you say, in, of, of uh, faces, of uh, bodies, of uh, uh, landscapes, of uh, buildings, and uh, of uh, soul, of course. Um, for us, it's very important to understand how to create architecture that is able to be shared. And uh, the idea of architecture that we have is that uh, with the, this idea that uh, we are made of the same material of buildings, uh, we always think that uh, uh, autobiography has to be shared uh, with the community feeling, and this is the way to make architecture for us. So uh, this is a position that we say with uh, a bit of courage ethical, in the sense that put together the, the personal feeling with the common feeling is something very serious and very difficult to do. Uh, we are in Milano in this project, and uh, uh, our su suburbs is, is an area in the south of Milano very difficult. And this uh, university, Yulm, uh, that is a private university, started to change it in, in a good way, I have to say. Of course, students are the most important part in this transformation. And they decided to make the, uh, the last uh, building, uh, a building uh, opened uh, to the town in its functions. What is really important of this work is that we thought that uh, we had to try to change uh, suburbs with uh, his uh, own instruments, language, not with uh, glass, tran transparencies, light, uh, something of completely 
new or, uh, or of the present, but to put together things like opacity, like uh, industrial uh, buildings, uh, like, like also fear in, this, in, the, in some part of this building to change the, the suburbs. So we had a lot of references that are Italian references for us, like Cironi, that is one of the most important painters of the suburbs in Italy. Of course, uh, another, uh, the most important Italian uh, architect of the last century with Michelucci, with Lina Bobardi. Of course, also this one. This idea that uh, was, was possible with, uh, with uh, opacity to change a place, a place of the town. This is the tower of the design school. You see it's, uh, it's completely closed from out for uh, the outside. And uh, the idea, of course, was very simple in the sense that we thought that uh, it has to be open also only in north with uh, this idea of uh, not real transparencies and then to have completely uh, work with the opacity all around. And uh, there is this idea to create a soul, to belong to a soul and to change it and to give again a soul living in that place. You know, when, when, when we say that an architect is a body, we say this. We say that you have to feel something of uh, invisible inside of the architecture, and the, the body is something that you can feel only knowing it, and feeling it, and touching it. The other important thing for us is that uh, in, a, in a building, is what we try to do always, and this is in connection with this, this idea of genealogy, we try always to put together in the same building different times in the sense that we think that contemporary doesn't mean, of course, present, but means to put together uh, times different and to create a disomogeneity of times inside of the building. So for this reason, we worked on these elements that are industrial ele elements, opacity, stairs, industrial stairs, and uh, with something of... Uh, unusual inside of the building that I will show you. This one is uh, the, the first maquette we made. We always ma make maquette uh, in pottery because for us it's very important to feel the material or also of the maquette and not to be abstract but to be strong in materials. These are the, the drawings, these are the building, and this is what uh, I wanted to explain you in, uh, a few words ago, to say that we wanted to put uh, opacity and also pain uh, together with something of shining and uh, unusual, that is this work on ceramic for the big auditorium on the, on the right. Uh, how to explain the way in which we, we build the building uh, in, uh, in the area. We, we, think, uh, we, we uh, speak about homologous space in the sense that we try to, we try to work uh, and to design together empty and uh, uh, volumes. And this is something that is not so normal in, uh, in Milano and in all the new towns of the last century. So we work at this, with, in this way, we consider the area as uh, something that we have to, to create uh, with density and with uh, empty and, and uh, elements and volumes completely in connection one between the others. And we'll, you'll see better in the drawings. On the other hand, it is a university, so all the students know that university is a place of uh, what is in between, between, in between rooms where you move, where you meet. So we, we convinced them to have a lot of uh, uh, energy and space in, uh, in the in-between uh, space, in the way we are to move, the, the place where to move. So the project is, first of all, this creation of uh, in-between spaces. These are the drawings, I will go quickly. For us, it was very important the section, of course, five minutes, okay. Uh, was very important the section in the sense that uh, uh, you know Milano is very flat uh, and we try to move the section and to have a, a way of entrance and of moving inside of the building very different. Uh, 
Again, this idea of uh, industry, this one is the exhibition hall. I will show you some uh, images uh, after. And this is the, the auditorium with this uh, ceramic uh, skin that is uh, made of diamonds, ceramic elements, you see in this, uh, in this uh, image. This one is the auditorium inside that is completely different, of course, from outside as a feeling. And then the last thing I want to show you, this one is the restaurant. This one is the places of uh, in between, I told you, the place where to lose time around the uh, inside of the building. And then there is this idea, the last thing that I want to say to you, is that uh, uh, in the university, introspection is, is very important, in the sense that you, d you do not uh, study only thinking from, for, uh, with, the, with the idea to go outside, but also to, to see inside of you. So this building is closed also for this reason. And this tower is made of uh, elliptic uh, uh, movement all around, and all the rooms, all the classrooms are uh, in connection with this uh, long ramp of uh, 10 levels. These are all the elements of connection in this, uh, in this tower. And there is this idea of uh, losing inside because it's like losing in yourself. Then, in the exposition hall, we made this work to, to put an element, like the moon, it, it, the exposition hall is completely closed, and to put only one element that is uh, something of uh, the evocation of uh, the presence of the moon. And uh, there, was, there, is, there is now this work by Fabrizio Plessi, that is an important art, Italian artist, on this uh, idea of uh, forest and of moon inside of the building. Thank you.